everybody, it's Bunny, and today's video is going to be a super fun taste test video. Today, we are going to be testing out the brand new camo ice cream. Yes, you heard it right. My favorite color is now represented in delicious camo and cream. I had no idea that this was a thing until you guys literally started mass tweeting me, tagging me on Instagram, leaving it in comments on YouTube. Anywhere that you guys talked to me, y'all were telling me that, like, have I tried the new camo ice cream? I think that this just came out yesterday. It is a brand new product and it is selling out everywhere. I had to go to three different grocery stores to be able to find any of it at all. And I'm not sure if this is like a nationwide treat. I definitely unfortunately don't think that it is available in other countries. Bluebell started in Texas in a little city called Brenham. And I used to go there for school field trips to see the ice cream being made in the ice cream factory. We're gonna dig into it today. I really think I'm gonna love the flavor of it because I really lucked out with this. Not only is it my favorite color, but it is some of my favorite flavors of ice cream as well. The green is pistachio almond ice cream. The darker brown color is milk chocolate ice cream. And the other, I think the sort of like creamy or it almost looks white on the top. That is a cream cheese flavored ice cream. So there's the little viewfinder. You can see the little camo swirls going on in there. Even though Bluebell had its like big thing last year, Bluebell will always have a soft spot in my heart because literally until the day he died, my grandpa always had at least one big tub of Bluebell ice cream in his freezer. So this is the ice cream that I grew up eating and birthday cake ice cream was one of his favorites. So that's what I used to eat a lot. So uh, there is the inside of the lid. It's all swirly. It just smells like ice cream. <laughs> oh, I just breathed all over it. Looks all camo swirled on the inside as well. I'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like as we scoop it. It looks like there are some almond or pistachio pieces in it. It looks more like almonds. So I think it's almonds cause you know, pistachios are green and all that. Let's see if I can get some scooping footage. I just got a new camera yesterday, but I haven't figured out how to work it yet. So we're still using the old one. I don't know how good the focus is. I'm also really weak and the ice cream's sort of melting underneath all the lights. Pretty much looks the same as we scoop into it. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can scoop out some ice cream into the bowl. Does anybody else just feel jealous when they see food pictures, like food bloggers or people who post food on Instagram or even like brands when they take a picture of the product and it just looks so beautiful and amazing. Like it's plated by a five star chef. And then anytime I try and take a cute picture of food or anything on Instagram, it just, it, it looks really bad. I'm making a mess and I'm scooping way too much ice cream. The sad thing about me is I'm borderline lactose intolerant. So I can't even really, eat a whole lot of it, but hey, hey, anything for camo. Here's my beautiful bowl of camo ice cream. Mmm. Bluebell is gonna hire me next to just convince people how delicious their items are. This is not, oh, this is not getting any better the more I swirl it. This does not look like how it did on Instagram or Facebook. This is just a swirly mess. Now time for the actual tasting. Also, you have to tell me down below, do you have something weird that you do with your ice cream? Some people like to eat ice cream when it's super freezing cold and solid. I like it when my ice cream slightly melts a little bit and then you get that delicious, I call it ice cream soup. And my dad will straight up sometimes put ice cream in the microwave for a couple minutes to make it really melty. So how do you like to eat your ice cream? I don't know if that's like, are, is, is that like a widespread phenomena or is that just the crazy people I know? Here comes the choo-choo train. That is good. What a great reaction. That's good. 
It's honestly really different. I'm trying to swirl it around the palate. It's like I definitely can taste the pistachio and I can definitely taste the milk chocolate. I think it's the cream cheese flavored ice cream that's throwing me off just a little bit. I like the taste of it, but it almost has sort of a coffee-ish flavor. But I think that that's maybe just like the chocolate and the cream cheese flavors mixing or somehow like transforming with pistachio. I don't know what's going on here, but there it is all melted and it still looks camo though, honestly, even when it's slightly melting. Hmm. It's good. The pistachio flavor is my favorite, but pistachio is like my favorite flavor of frozen yogurt and generally my favorite flavor of ice cream as well. So I like it. It's interesting. Is anybody enjoying this right now? Is this the most like random boring video I've ever made? So many of you guys were asking me about it. So I thought it would just be fun to try it for the first time on camera with you guys. I'm gonna take one more little taste. That was like an up close disgusting shot. <laughs> Definitely if you can get your hands on it and you can try it, I would recommend it. It's very different. It's not like any other ice cream I've ever had before. The mixture of the flavors is very interesting. I think I also like the pistachio best because I like it when my ice cream has just a little bit of toppings in it, you know, like Rocky Road or I like Cherry Garcia. That's also one of my favorite ice cream flavors, but this is really good. I'm not sure if it's like a limited edition thing or if they're gonna carry it, like if there's enough demand for it, if it's going to become a permanent thing. I hope it's not too limited edition because like I said, uh, it's definitely pretty well sold out in all of the surrounding areas already. So hopefully they're gonna at least roll out a couple of batches of it. I know today's video was short, sweet, and maybe a little bit silly, but since so many of you guys were asking me about it and it was you guys who told me about it in the first place, I did wanna go ahead and share this special sweet ice cream tasting moment with y'all. Also, don't forget to check out yesterday's video. It went up late, late last night and we did have a first impression Friday video, but I think it went up around like 10 to 11 o'clock at night. So maybe you missed it. That is it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and I'll give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. 